we're live. All right, uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Helios vs. IR, also known as Infiltration, so the team out of China. We had a match against them. I believe this was week uh, one or two of the APL uh, this year. But this was on SME, so if we just go back a little bit to take a look at the full map, we all know SME, right? We all know SME very, very well. We have checkpoint down at the, at the very bottom here is the midpoint. And we have Rue de Gambleville uh, over there on the left for the IR and then Maison. So Helios was allies on this side or this this match. And with checkpoint, it's probably the most even point out of all of them, right? And for uh, this opening, some of it depends on the truck snipes. And as far as that gap there or that main point right in the middle, as far as one second. Okay, there we go. Uh, but as far as the artillery closing down the center of the point usually and then the flanks are usually where the kind of deciding point is Most of the time I think in most matches you'll see the tanks on both sides So both light tanks will rush towards the midpoint and then the mediums will sort of uh, the access medium will be here on the lower left maybe and in, in D7 D8 and then move up from there and then the allies medium will just need a position itself maybe on the east side of checkpoint to just wait to get that medium uh, sight line. But with checkpoints, we have uh, the north, we were expecting the north to be decided and then uh, the south. So we'll have to, uh, we, we were expecting sort of the battle to be fought there and then me, um, the middle of the point would be sort of uh, canceled out, if you will, right? So, oh, one second, I think my, okay, we're back. <laughs> All right, uh, so with this, we have the, uh, yeah, so checkpoint, middle of the, um, the battle, right? And then uh, we'll just go ahead and go to the stream here and see what happens. And, uh, on SME, as the allies, Helios had to go against IR on checkpoint. So here checkpoint is, my... is one know. of those Let's ones go. that's, gosh, so much yes, depends on the open. So we'll just give a head past the opening here. And in the beginning, there was a Greyhound spawn needed, I believe, on the bottom hand side of the map. But uh, there was a little bit of confusion, and I couldn't spawn the Greyhound down here at the bottom for some reason. Uh, it was clicking there, and for some reason, it just wasn't wasn't um, allowing me to spawn until I clicked off of it and clicked in the middle and back to the bottom. Uh, so unfortunately, allow or had a few second delay there for the uh, for the tank crew that was looking to get in that light tank or the Greyhound. And so. Uh, let's see here, and so, yeah, so we have the light tank going down to the bottom here, and we just go ahead and skip ahead a little bit. Okay, so I'm warming up the truck here. Let's turn the volume down, maybe just a smidgen. But warming up the truck, everything looks good. We have Lodgy going up to the north here. And then uh, down here to the south, we have uh, all the trucks in position, dropping a supply drop down for the one of the opening Garys. So I'm usually in command, or in competitive games, for those of you who haven't seen my previous streams. Uh, we usually drop this up for opening supply drop to help out with a Gary right in the beginning as uh, dropping in enemy territory most likely they'll sniff it out and or they'll send somebody afterwards so just I just use it most of the time to uh, set up uh, something uh, on the front line all righty buddy thank you sir you betcha. Okay, so now we're just driving along in the supply truck, heading towards the front line. So uh, down to the bottom, most likely, and off the opening, there could be a chance where I would get sniped in the supply truck, given all the open sight lines that they can have. So heading towards the middle here to put up some Garys, and that way I can get some stuff on the northern side of, uh, of the map, or the, the point. And then, uh... Yeah, so then the squad leads will take care of the Garys down here to the south uh, and south map. But everything looks good at the start. No trucks got stuck. That's one thing you're kind of looking for. And off the opening, see if any uh, competitive or see if any truck drivers got stuck. Okay, so we're moving along, moving along here. And now uh, we're getting closer to the point. All the squad's marks are down, as you can tell. Between 
And so we have all trucks moving head on towards the point. All the marks are going down. OP placements are down. Everything's looking good. Supply drops almost there, so I'll get a Gary up down there. I'm almost here to the middle of the map, so an SME, you'll see usually the Gary spots. I mean, uh, for those of you who play uh, competitive before, standard Gary spots, nothing too wild, right? Because you want to maximize the uh, grid space in which you have, right? And so usually you'll see a Gary spot up here in this building complex, and you'll see a Gary spot maybe in this building complex here. A little bit, uh, maybe you can play around with it between the northern buildings and the southern buildings. And then the Gary spot, usually south of Cemetery, right around this line right there uh, is where another Gary would be. A Gary at Maison, and then a Gary down here on the road. Uh, usually, uh, or sometimes, uh, people make the mistake of putting the Gary marks pre-game in on the farthest part of the square on the left hand side and but the point is you got to understand the terrain right so as soon as you understand the terrain on sme for the south point right here you'll you'll see that hey i shouldn't put a gary uh down here because this is all open field and whereas back here you're right behind a hedge and um, there's there's more protection back there in mason and crossroads Glad I missed my spawn because people don't know how to get in a fucking truck. Yeah, so sometimes you'll have uh, issues, and I think that was actually more on me, maybe, uh, for the uh, Greyhound spawn. I'm not 100% sure. can't remember exactly, uh, but I know there were some delays. Uh, but the key thing is getting the trucks as soon as possible so you can move on and uh, get the spawns down for everything. So put the first Gary down here. So, like, like I mentioned before... With that initial spot here, right? And now we'll get a Gary up here, Gary up right here, and then uh, we'll get a Gary up somewhere down here. Now, for those of you who haven't played competitive, highly, I highly recommend checking it out. Many, many, many teams that play in North America, uh, South America, Europe, all over the world, really. And so uh, you just get a much more structured uh, approach to this game. And it's, it's a lot more fun, in my opinion. It can be depressing at times. It can be depressing at times. Trust me. It could be very high, uh, a lot of stress. But um, to me, it's a lot of fun. Okay, so we're moving on here. And we see that uh, the bodies are moving, or, or the blueberries are moving uh, nice and nice and uh, nice and easy towards checkpoint. We have looks like we have good northern presence as well. No trucks got sniped. We have two tanks moving towards a strong point, right? So we're going to get excellent control around, and then we have the medium moving up as well uh, west of Maison, and then down to the south. A flare has gone up with a transport down here to the south, and so this is where uh, we first sort of see that hey, they're very heavy south presence. Yeah, so as this points out here, very heavy south presence, right? Sand, where's your guy? We didn't see Alex. Yeah, I couldn't get to mine in time. Check the flare. Checkpoint. Okay, moving on here. Moving on. All of A2 is wiped. All of A2, A2 is south. wiped. So they are wiped south. So that means IR infiltration is going to be able to sim. They're going to be able to capture this hedge on the opposite side. They're going to start wrapping bodies. Uh, should be able to get wrapping bodies to the north. And getting crossfire into the east side of checkpoint. Your left we on. both died before we could build OPs. Why is there not an open garrison on run? Stand by, five seconds. Only that Gary timing is so key because that 40 second countdown timer starts, right? And, uh,. So a little bit delayed off the Gary's in the open, guessing there was some support confusion or something like that, right? Uh, so, yeah. Oh, watch out south, you tanks. Sorry, we're not there to protect. Okay, so Gary goes up on Maison. I think this is where I got confused as far as uh, the actual Gary placement. And there's only like a f very, very fine spot uh, which I could place it. Uh, so I really wish they would add something in the when you're trying to place a Gary if it could show Essentially below it how close the nearest Gary is right so you can instead of having to ping it It's say like 197 198 or 155 something like that, right? I think that'd be really helpful G5 Gary's hot I'm gonna fall back and start swinging to. All right. 
Okay, so in this point in a competitive match, and you can obviously try to use this in pub, uh, pub matches as well, but when the point's literally not looking that good like it is here, uh, then you really got to start pulling defense back to the perimeter, right? And then so you can cover the periphery of the point so they can prevent some penetration in the back line or you know, just bodies flowing in from the north. So in this case, we have Maison du Creek, and so uh, defense will probably fall back near Cemetery to start building up some sort of northern flank here to shield the point from uh, that northern part, right? Then also with this sort of layout, you're also worried about all this space back here, right? So SME on the ally side, right? Or actually, I mean both sides. You just have a lot of space where they can move along the hedges, move in the back line and try to get behind you. Uh, so just defense preparation, that works. I watched the race out. Reset. Okay, so we have one. Get ready for reset team, get ready for reset. Yeah, so remember with OPs, you have a cooldown timer, right? So once your OP gets wiped, it's I think it's um, uh, 120 seconds, 90 seconds. I forgot what it is exactly, uh, 90 seconds or 120 seconds. But um, you want to make sure to gotcha. call out to your squad leads, hey, get ready to dismantle your OP and put up a new one in case uh, you use your... North of Cemetery Gary just went warm. Because time is of the there. essence so in uh, competitive yeah, yeah, yeah. play. Amber Spine, this is me aiming That's down my gun sights. A little bit low, so I can, you know, think of like an old person looking through their glasses, right? How they lower their glasses down to the nose. <laughs> What's that, sir? He should be in the cemetery. Person. For P4 and Fox. We have one MP4. If somebody can get a rocket. November. Okay, so I'm just looking out towards yeah, Cemetery uh, here, looking to see if there's anybody else. We'll skip ahead a little bit, um, so we don't spend too much time We're here. starting to get cap pressure on checkpoint. Clear up. So cap pressure was very there's mild, very mild. Okay, so we'll skip ahead a little bit, skip ahead a little bit. I can get my OP down south and go build the Gary at ice. Okay, so this, uh, in a post-cap situation, we're try first look to see, okay, where, where are we at? Where are we good? Where are we bad, right? So on the south, we're doing okay. Uh, as Dis pointed out earlier, or A1 pointed out, that they got wiped in the south, right? So we're not going to have any really presence down there. So IR is going to be able to get crossfire from the south onto mid with MGs and everything and just really shove a whole bunch of uh, firepower towards middle there. And at least for... At least on this end, we're not going to be able to push to the south because all the open fields, so it's kind of okay. But we want to make sure at least we have some presence and maybe the defense squads back here should be able to hold this down. And recons, you can see the recon OP. So the sniper is going to be able to spawn on there and hopefully knock some people out. But we have good mid presence in the trenches and everything leading up to checkpoint. We have blueberries in there. The northern part of checkpoint is very key, even though it's out of sector, right? This part up here is all out of sector. Uh, but we have Northern Presence, so that's good. And Cemetery looks clear. We have some infantry marks, but not too crazy. So everything's looking okay. We have Lodgy going on in the back line too, putting up Garys, so that's always uh, good too. Seven. The Garys on G4 just light up. So the situation is okay. And this is the beginning of these competitive games. You're always worried about uh, what kind of crazy stuff they're gonna try to pull, right? So against teams like GBI, for example, who immediately send a couple Lodgy players into your back line. Uh, in this case, I would be worried about them having <laughs> something back here uh, as far as uh, setting up a Gary and then spawn bombing the Gary. I mean, by spawn bomb, they just send as many bodies as they possibly can just to get initial cap advantage. Enemy garrison near and then they just overload the point, essentially. So we'll go ahead and skip ahead here a little bit. So 120 left on the clock. Oh, no rush. Uh, Pisces, go ahead and stay there. Uh, I'm going to go and dismantle it, and then I'm going to rebuild building. it. Let's go and skip ahead a little bit. Okay, so we have a little bit later, so we see we're losing some mid-presence here. South is the recon OP got wiped because there was an open field, right? Uh, so they got wiped from there, uh, but then we see... Uh, the northern part starting to get a little bit dicey. So we have some infantry marks. So OPs are getting pushed back, right? And so our push is getting concentrated right down, uh, right down the middle, pretty much. And so, but we do have our first 76 rolling up. And so on a map uh, like SME, especially if it's checkpoint, armor is going to be big just because of all the open fields and everything. And how, uh, if they're able to dominate, then they'll be able to offer a lot of firepower, right? 
for the infantry to push up in these narrow spaces. Structures. Hold on. You may you may just need to head north a little bit. Gary on checkpoint is gone. Okay, so a squad lead calls out, hey, Gary on checkpoint is gone, which is always good news. Uh, but uh, just remember, keep in the back of your mind, if you play competitive, right, their Garys are usually reset pretty quickly. <laughs> because if a Gary goes down, uh, that means that uh, there's going to be a call in command chat to pretty much say, hey, we need supplies, we need a Gary here, somebody get on that ASAP. And in competitive play, you'll see a lot of players quickly respond to uh, issues and everything as far as... Um, uh, just things going on. Do I reveal the uh, Smithers? One second. Wait till he gets up that one. Okay, so I just wanted that squad lead to get up that carry because uh, of the distance, right? So just to make sure that we have uh, where the supplies are fixed, right? Dropped or they're, or they're dropping. Just want to make sure there's 200 meters in between each one of those and everything. So let him get this Gary up first because I think there's more space to gone. move up there and then the okay, Gary. Thank you, Mancap. Oh, sorry, maybe I was confusing. Uh, there okay, you guys, getting it backwards. Established. Thank you, guys. Panzer 4, F7, P mark Okay, so we have good Gary presence. Uh, what, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven Garys, I believe I'm seeing on the map. Yeah, so seven Garys, one red zone Gary, and then six uh, blue zone Gary. So we'll probably could use another Gary maybe somewhere back here just to catch any enemy players that are kind of slipping in the back line. P4 on Fox is pushing. Yeah, they're, they're in SME, wiping south. Now keep in mind, my bombing run is ready here. And so it's always one of those things where going back and watching this match again sure, during editing, clear, clear. Yeah, there were a few clear. moments where I was like, oh, I probably could have dropped a bombing run maybe, and it maybe could have helped cap. Down. But you just, you just never know. But the, I think this match, I was a little bit too conservative with uh, the bombing runs. I don't know what DJ wants me to do about that. I'm fucking not even... One concerned. reason being is just due to the nature of wanting to conserve resources, right? And so uh, the the wanting to conserve resources and to be able to convert for fuel for more armor and everything, that's one of the main reasons here. I was asking Gath if we uh, But maybe I was being a little bit too conservative. We should focus more on the side and split forces. I didn't okay. see any more. I'm, I'm still looking for these ups that drop. That yes. Gives us that. Once A2 gets wiped, we can shift further north. But right now it's proxy night here in circle. That's fine. Okay, so we're going on here. Map situation still looks okay. This is typically, I mean, this is kind of normal, right? So we have a couple OPs on the front line that are warm, but we're still able to spawn bodies off of. It looks relatively stable all around. We have defense probing in the back line. Nothing is lighting up back here, so we're generally okay. I am worried, though, about H8, uh, just because of this is be an easy place for them to sneak all the way around and get something right, right here, and they'll be able to launch, right? So they'll be able to send, I don't know, 10, uh, 15 bodies easily back here without being detected up until maybe, you know, they get to this little part right there in the middle. So that would be a, definitely a weak spot, and that did have me worried a little bit, and I think I remedied it here a little bit, a little bit later. But we do have do good. Uh, we have uh, good pen penetration on the point, though, right now. Yeah, G6. Got so skip ahead a little bit here, down to the 116. One OP okay. gets wiped, so IR is trying to get control back of the yeah, strong point fine. as they yeah, should, right? Too close um, to the front line, Gary. So this one will be good, though. This one will be good. We do have 176 here. I found their supplies. One medium rolling up as well. Yes, it's still alive. Gato, I got those supplies. Thank you for calling that out. Okay, so there I am converting uh, resources again, converting for converting for a 76. For all those new commanders on there, the resource Thanks, munitions, just keep in the back of your mind, it's Five minutes, five minutes cooldown, and then uh, you have. I just killed a guy on easy mark. Oh, this is where I think so I pre-spawned the seventy-six, and I, yeah, I, I shouldn't have done that. I should have waited for them to tell me where they want yeah. wanted it. Okay, so we'll skip ahead. Yeah. One thirteen fifty-six here, and there's always these these this certain phase in the game where. You're just exchanging blows back and forth over and over and over again. So neither side is really gaining any ground. You're just trading kills. 
It's a sign of a good match, right? I mean, we're not getting absolutely steamrolled. And so the fragging is uh, relatively equal in a way. Uh, you could say equal as in kill count or in terrain, right? Uh, so they can't push in certain places, and we can't push in certain places, right? But they're trying to dedicate a lot more bodies there. So this is where I drop a supply box in the back line, uh, just maybe for a Gary later on. It's North Cemetery. Yeah, North Cemetery is one. There's a little... We just came out in the open. You can talk back there by holding equals when I talk to you, and it responds. Okay, so then we have uh, the 76 rolling up from the bottom here that I spawned, and then we have the tank here, tank here. So we have good northern presence, middle though, and bottom is looking a little bit dicey. Uh, this is where, uh, you know, there's always the part in the game where you look at the map and you're like, oh man, there's not many bodies here, right? Like, where is everybody? And so that's a part where you don't know how many people are in the deploy screen, right? Maybe on 20 second cooldown or 10 or whatever. But there's no real way to know, hey, there's going to be about five or six people spawning in that area in about two, 20 seconds or something, right? So there should be, maybe it'd be nice if there was something uh, to add to that, right? Or add into this to map feature in a way to know who's going to be spawning where in a way. But uh, but yeah, that's one of those things of, uh, that's one of those missing pieces of information right now for, as commander in these types of games. The loot is just driving through our back. DJ, you rebuild in the Gary? Yep, yep. Okay, so yeah, it's sort of stale right now. We're we're trading in the north. We're holding our line in the north, holding our line front door. But this is, like I said, a little bit scary. But there's plenty of bodies here. We got mines on the road. We got tanks rolling up as backup. So feeling okay. And then the church presence as well is looking okay. So pre preventing those outer wraps. But still, remember, we still have this gap back here in H8. Yep. Okay, so we'll just keep skipping ahead here a little bit, skip past the stalemate parts. So we do have Tear that was able to sneak in the back line, so we do have that OP back here. And the key thing with an OP in the back line, right, is if uh, you just got to be so careful with spawning on that OP, and if it's in a good spot, making or trying to estimate where the enemy Garys are, right? So most likely the enemy Gary, they're going to have a Gary down here to the bottom somewhere, right? So Tear marked a Gary down here. And so in your mind, you got to think 200 meters from that point, right? And so if you think 200 meters from that point, oof, man, it's going to be probably in this grid sector right here. I know there's like a hedge right there that they could put it behind. And so you just uh, got to be mindful because remember, it's 50 meters, 50 meters within that Gary, and you're going to trip it. And so then you're going to give away your entire position. And then the whole point of getting in the back line is, uh, you know, it's kind of going to be yeah, not so bueno. I saw movement coming out of this wheat field. I'm gonna go burn their OP. It was just one dude. It's in it's in H5. P on Roger OP mark. I can see it. Correction, Tear Tank is new tiger. You want some ATs on it? I'm I'm just swapping around my own squad. Yeah, to convert for yeah fucking send it if you can kill it. Alright, what what uh squad are you? I'm uh So taking a chance as a uh, precision, so an SME in these uh area down there you know the tanks are going to be moving north to south or peeking along the edges so just trying to take a chance there just to see who knows maybe i'll get it but precisions it's uh <laughs> some precisions you swear you're going to nail and then you don't and then some precisions you're thinking oh man there's no way i'm going to get that and then it hits but it's pretty crazy i mean the uh, i've had a stuka bomb fall from a, a 76 maybe six or seven meters away and it still kills it so it's just to me it's so random sometimes I still weird there. barbed wire across gaps i don't know if there's Coming any barbed wire jumps here in like e e6 i don't know if i had a single rifle kill this game i don't remember maybe i have one precision comes in i check my combat score to check so i got 50 ce out of that so it could have been a repair hey, station yeah, Guessing it was a repair station. Uh, so yeah. Or it could have been an AT gun. Can you, can you AT gun from may be uh, 50 CE. Don't remember destroyed. exactly. Can you spawn back in? Smithers looks like peace strike hit. Uh, yeah, did not I saw kill. the explosion. Did not kill. Yeah, did not kill. Okay, so we have after the peace strike. So we're looking okay still. Once again, still stagnated. Neither, neither side is able to push each other out really. 
Uh, we just you gotta wait for armor to see if they can get an advantage maybe and make a breakthrough. Or maybe some infantry player makes an incredible play, satchels the middle of the point, uh, blows up a whole bunch of stuff, or uh, maybe kills a tank or, or one of the 76 or something. You're always waiting for that one play in a way, right? Um, there's always something that happens on the field, on the battlefield that you don't know about maybe even. It's just happening. Like somebody makes an incredible play and they don't talk about it, but uh, that play... Changes the course of the course of the game. Okay, so we'll go on here. From E5 into H5, seventy six bottom, please. All right, Xander, redeployed. You still need that AT. Smithers, can you get a? Uh, Thank you. I think I think uh, fifty percent of my time during the yeah, match is resource management. Time, Did you guys hear that? And by resource management, I mean when to use supply drops because you use fifty munitions. When to convert. When to use encouraged. When to hold back on use encouraged. When to convert fuel for stuff. I mean, usually converting fuels if you're in an absolutely desperate situation. Or if it's the last five minutes of a match and you, uh, you don't, you're don't, you not worried about using tanks anymore, really. So, uh, yeah. Flanking flag. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I, I can. Uh, I, I like to drop off me. F5. Oh, no worries. It's yeah, I'm a bit out there. of sector, so. Flares, if you got them, please, near checkpoint. Okay, so Artie's calling out for flares, 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 flares uh, to help uh, just see what's ever on the map, right? So remember, flares are just uh, they're able to save so much resources. So you don't have to use recon as much, or you can use recon in other areas as well. Um, so, yeah, just very, very important. Okay, so we have a pretty good push going up the middle here. Once again, I did not use a bombing run, and I don't know. One sec, Gato. I was holding back so much. Uh, five eggs, straight south of you. And uh, I'm not 100% sure why. Part of me wishes I can go back. I think I lined it up, but then I did not click it. Yeah, DJ got him. I need satchels on dog. Back line okay, so just heading back to... I was looking at hotel. Okay, so we have penetration inside the point. We have dog squad behind the points. One body moving out near to the south. And then 76 rolling up here. Uh, not sure if that's a medium. I think it's maybe it's a medium rolling up the middle there, but it looks like it just got Phil taken November. out. Phil Defense is looking good in the back line. Team so when you're ever. Naget has one more spot open. Okay, Naget's full. Naget's full. Okay. Uh, but whenever you're in these situations where you're getting really close to all in, I'm always, instead of looking at the all in push, I'm looking at defense to make sure that we have a good network set up and nothing's lighting up and everything. Because these are those very. Uh, very sensitive situations that, gosh, you just uh, you want to go all in, right? But you got to be mindful that if one bot, if you're all in, right, everybody's out of sector, and if one body slips through, then your point's going to be start being taken, right? So you always got to keep somebody back, uh, just in case, at least in my opinion. Uh, I can update dog tank mark in a minute. He killed two crew minutes station. Try to link up with you. Okay, so checkpoint's starting to be capped. And uh, we have the tank rolling up to the bottom. Tank in the middle there. Checkpoint. Flare went up to the south. We have one tank down to the south, I believe. Yeah. They're also dropping supplies to our southeast. Pisces, can you replace my OP at the you. And once again, I had the bombing run, but I did not use it. I don't know why. I don't know why. Directly south of gas. That was a bombing run hesitant here. Supplies oh yeah, I've found a supply drop that they dropped. Fun things as being commander. Just rolling around the back line, seeing these things. So we skip ahead and the infantry push the because I mean the OPs on were on, that were on checkpoint were sort of on an island, and I believe the tanks swooped up there and just pretty much uh, just helped knock them out. Right. Down. Hell yeah. He took down your OP with DJ, but I got him. Okay. Okay, so we move on. I have a few more minutes there, and we see, okay, we are starting to get more OP presence up, so it looks okay. Uh, we're starting to get George OP to the south. They've identified the Gary, but once again, it's all open field back there, and uh, it's, it's going to be really hard for them to push, especially with MG's cross-firing. So we skip ahead here a little bit. Just dropping supplies in the back line. Setting up Garys. 
Small, uh, skipping ahead, but the line is still just inching forward a little bit, a little bit for a little bit forward. And I mean, I wish there was something more I could do as commander. <laughs> I, w I wish I can go to the front line and have like some sort of uh, battle cry, if you will, right? Uh, to think of these other games that have this sort of features. And if commander had like a special ability <laughs> to uh, stun all the enemies in like a, I don't know, 75 meter radius or something like that, right? That'd be pretty cool. And I can go in the middle of uh, the frontline OPs right there and sort of lead the charge and stuff. That'd be uh, that'd be pretty interesting. Keep tracking where that is. I'm I'm redeploying. If anything else lights up. Do you want one infantry? No, I think we're good right now. Okay. Okay, so I get on the supply truck here to look out for that approaching uh, enemy that they spotted or vehicle, and so I just get on the supply truck to use it as sort of like my little. Uh, Stepper, if you will, right? Or my little, uh, what am I, what am I trying to think of here? My little, uh, <laughs> little podium. And I just take out my binos and try to look around. A minute. What's up? Yep, casual, getting halfway Enemy stuck in the supply truck, truck uh, <laughs> commander stuff right now. Very exciting, I know. Map situation still looking okay. Once again, though, I mean, during these boring times, you just look at the map and you get to be more entertained. Hey, there's a Gary just south of you, right across from the Gary place. For well, those of you uh, play okay, Hearts of Iron, I think that's where I get um, my wanting to play Commander so much, yeah, maybe, because I played so much Hearts of Iron back in the day. Uh, that maybe that's what this uh, replicates for me. <laughs> I think, I, I mean, most games I fire my gun maybe 10 times or something like that. I, I like vehicle mark as Luke's. I like vehicle as Luke's. Okay, so front line still stable. Yeah, still grinding, still grinding. He's Defense is doing a fantastic job of cleaning up everything down. in the back line. Yep. Accidentally ran somebody <laughs> over there, uh, but he ran, uh, he ran in front of me. To uh, get, get the 10 second cooldown yeah, timer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go straight north and see if I can't cut them off, like here on my move mark. I'll drop another box. Yeah, I'll get it. I'll get in this. Uh, okay, so just dropping some boxes here. in the back line, making sure everything's okay, making sure we have plenty of extras just in case. But good thing we didn't have cemetery. Oh gosh, defending that cross section to back. Uh, from They've checkpoint to cemetery would have been brutal. Okay, I'm dropping a box up here. Go down. Okay, so we have the Gary lighting up north of Maison, so it's a little bit. Uh, we have. We're, I mean, during the course of the game, it's kind of uh, an interesting development. Always, how just. Some places, I mean, you get you get distracted. Something, somebody calls you, or it's so quiet for five, ten minutes, right? And you don't think anybody is there, and then you could just essentially leave a place, right? And uh, not sometimes forget the impact of what happens when you when you leave a place, and so or leave your position. And so in this case, uh, we had up, the Gary up. light up on cemetery the right there, shows, and oof, uh, man, November Mark, yeah. F seven, please. Okay, so if we keep moving up here, once again, still stalemate, still a stalemate here. And I just wish, once again, there was something. Uh, dropping a lot of. Uh, I just, uh, I always feel sort of helpless so in these situations as far as stalemates go. Puma, it's like I wish there was something else I could do. That's sort of my pseudo radar. Towards, uh, whatever the fuck, fourth middle. He's on easy helmet. Yeah, I saw him. Go from north, I'm gonna go straight to him. Yep, Down come on, go on, get back to the cemetery. Uh, but we have the Garys looking He's good, dead. and then it yep. just comes down to frag exchange uh, up on the front line, right? Like, can we win? Can we win the trades to gain inch by inch up on the front line and wipe those OPs and yeah, so on and so forth? Yes, yep. I did. And then the other thing too you're watching for is the armor too, right? So you're watching. Uh, to see it, how well uh, armor is able to win trades and they can move up to the next edge and support the infantry in another way. And uh, once they have the armor advantage, then they can take more risk or they can take riskier plays. Already falling down back here. 
Drop in supplies deck. Don't for repair stations. Already round lands. Already round lands right by the truck. No, we'll just more bodies going back to resupply. South is our going. They got an MG watch in from like 52 minutes south. left on the clock. Repairing the supply truck. Line still still pretty stable here. What did I do here? Yeah, oh, supply truck or supply right drop falling. Infantry were spotted here. I think I was just trying to look to the wheat field. Once again, using the supply truck as a uh, little uh, podium here. No, I don't see him. You have got flare. Shogun, can you swing south? There's a Is that tank you're in got on the road? Doing okay, so looking at the map here. So still pretty stable. Nothing crazy, guys. Nothing crazy. Everything's just a stalemate pretty much. We're starting to make maybe a little bit of progress into the point. Uh, but then the tanks may be getting a little bit better position. Uh, we got supplies in the back line. Everything's looking good. It's just down to the front line and overloading certain sectors and... Seeing if we can uh, make uh, a punch through or break through the line. On gas, on the road. On Baker, if you could. Zam. Need some uh, some infantry down here in. Uh, I'm to your sorry, north. So I have, I'm trying to find. Lining there. up the bombing run here. here. Yeah, Maybe I don't remember if I used it actually. Hey, that George. I saw the tank right here, and so I was thinking, okay, the hedge is right there, so maybe can line the bombing run, knock or damage the tank, and their garrison should be like back here somewhere or something. Uh, so maybe knock out the Gary, damage the tank, that sort of thing. Artillery's falling to the north. Nice, nice. But here again, I was just playing around with the bombing run, and I don't know if I. Executed. Yep, I'm trying to work with it. That, he got me. I'm coming up. I need to oh. Did I get stuck? Or did I was able to get it out? Can I get some guys off George? Shopee? We're gonna lose this, Gary. Fifty minutes Gary left. Yeah, so the Gary to the south went down. They snuck some infantry by. I got the supply truck stuck. Always a wonderful feeling. has got to be in this wheat field. We need to address that south situation now, guys. That's Always a wonderful feeling. Stand by. Proxy, <laughs> Texting and driving, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, but here we have a 70, a medium. I can't tell. I can't tell the number of dots. Maybe it's two or three. I can't, I can't tell. But we do have a tank moving up here to the north uh, to help support the... Nagat infantry on point got wiped out. So maybe it's like one of those things where you want to use a bombing run, but you're maybe not 100% confident in the push at the moment. So you're maybe waiting for a little bit better push. And so I think maybe that's what I was thinking. I was thinking, ah, well, maybe there's just Nagat on point. We got to get more bodies there. And then we'll have a chance at, at doing something. Can I get a supply in uh, Roger so we can read? Okay, so we'll just skip ahead a little bit here. 48 minutes hey, left. Like bad. Okay, so we see here this push got wiped and pushed back, right? We still do have the tank right here. So 76 here, 76 here, recon tank moving up here. Still good presence up in the north, but once again, we were able to make some ground, but then IR is uh, able to punch us right back in the face and, and knock us uh, and knock us right down. Spawning your yeah, somewhere near that. Um this guy, he's south of the road. He's south of the road. Gary's warm on points. Gary's warm on points. Yeah, so in this case, uh, we the Gary's warm on point, but most of the time it's maybe just like one or two bodies that slip through. Uh, right. And so it shouldn't be too much to be worried about. Oh, that's right. I built that one back there. Okay. Yep. Okay, maybe dismantle that one. Go ahead, Ronkin. Thank you. Okay, and let's go and take a, another look here. So that I-7 Gary went warm, right? For a yeah. Crawling yeah. underneath yeah. the bridge. No, no, no. Crawling where underneath the bridge. Uh, I'm assuming Yo, south. Oh, assuming south. Is south in that uh, creek, maybe? Who's who's checking that? I took out a garrison just. I don't know why I did that. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't just walk back there. I, the <laughs> I could have just walked. Could have just stood up and walked. Said I try to make a cinematic crawl through underneath a, a bridge. Good job, Gary, Gary on easy mark. Good job, good job. I mean, I keep scanning. Yeah, city's right near me. 
H8 to hear an OP. Yeah, okay. So when when I got killed right there, and so I heard an OP near me. So as I mentioned before, H8 was my worry point, right? Because we had nothing back there, no Garys or anything. So I went back there to investigate after the supply drop and call on command champ. And they got shot. So make always make sure before you redeploy that you call out to somebody, hey, there's something nearby me. Can somebody mark it, right? So I heard a radio after this and one of the squad leads marked it afterwards or right, Gary yeah, something. and my fragging ability is awful uh it's it's i mean in competitive play it's probably one of the one of the worst and so i know i'm not going to be able to out frag the ir guys because they're probably some pretty good maybe it's recon maybe it's a sniper or something like that right i'm not gonna be able to out frag them no freaking way uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the freaking transport truck and I'm going to try to just jump in that puppy and uh, weave my way through Which and uh, just right wipe out whatever OP they have back there. On. And here I go. So I know generally where it is. And so I think I have a better chance at driving the transport truck than I do at uh, actually running and gunning. <laughs> Secondary setting up recon front door. Secondary tiger on Baker. Dude, so I'm getting closer here. I died in the supply truck right there, but their OP has to be in that line, right? So I know that. So it's a fixed area that their OP has to be. So here I go. I'm just going to weave it a little bit. I can hear him moving those lights. Just going to weave. Just going to weave. A little bit of weaving. <laughs> and if anything, I serve as a distraction, right? Yep. Oh, here are the car 98. And destroyed an enemy outpost. Gotta love it, right? Beat my horn a little bit, maybe distract him, let Zan get the kill. And uh, wham bam shabammo. There we go, baby. Okay, so quick if you're yeah, if you're uh, if you're commanding and you're not very good at fragging, uh, just use a use a truck, man. Just use a truck to wipe out whatever you need to. A little tip from me. Okay, so we're moving down to 41 minutes, and you see here we're, we got pushed more out of the north, more and more and more, right? And uh, to the south there, we're also releg or relegated back to our lines, essentially, right? So Fox and is trying to push his way up. Terra's still in the back line, but once again, they have those back line Garys, and they're going to be pinging every time we get by him, right? And so... Uh, it's just uh, yeah, it's against good teams that know how to monitor the back line and good security and people that don't get bored back there. Because I'm guessing teams have had their problems where people get bored in the back line because there's nobody back there, right? And they leave. And so then that presents an opportunity for people. Okay, so a lot of this is just rinse and repeat, just exchanging back and forth, right? We lose a bunch of ground, then we push back up and we gain it back. IR gets closer to front door, then we push him back out. Tear gets wiped, or the backline OP back here got wiped, so they sniff that out. Thirty-five minutes left on the yeah, clock, and we make a big right northern right push. And so these are the things that happen, uh, at least during these games. Is that uh, maybe as commander, you have this idea that we should be uh, <laughs> coordinating everything, right? As, but I, I think I had, I felt that responsibility when I first started. I was like, oh my gosh, I got to command everything, right? Uh, but no, you got to leave it to your squad leads out there on the front line to figure out where they should go and everything, and, and just leave it up to them. And so in this case. Uh, they were coordinating the front line to overload certain areas, right? And seeing if they can make a uh, make a breakthrough. Good. So just skip ahead wow. a little bit more. Skip ahead a little bit more. Using dismantle garrison to quickly see where all my garrisons are on the map. Mm. Okay, 34 minutes left on the clock. 34 minutes left on the clock. Copy, I was on a Gary and... A lot of dispersed OPs, a lot of dispersed bodies uh, everywhere, right? No clear sign of a good penetration going on. Just the line is really, really stale right now, right? Terror, but I got shot off. 
Guns going up. Yard. And Fidel, are they in cemetery? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Spawns in there. Okay, and so uh, here we have pretty good um, front line control again, right? So we were able to move out of the blue, shift up to the front line, once again winning those trades and everything. So, hey, we're back uh, potentially in uh, penetration position. They've fucking taken Copy. out the garrison and the repair station at our tank. So this is one of those cases where uh, we probably should have had a certain number of infantry around our tanks in that gap right there just to make sure that they're okay. And so, uh, but in this, there was a lapse right in security, and so uh, the tank got taken out. It's all right. I'm in here. I don't see anyone. Look, look at the south edge where my OP mark hey, is. Is there no OP there? Ah, uh, killed out of the supply truck. Right here. Always love it. I got killed. By we got Binox out watching everything we do. Okay, 29 minutes left on the clock. See, we're gaining that ground back, but still it's... It's still not the greatest, right? We don't have a full launch. We have a potential launch position yeah, down here to the south. Tank south the cemetery get, get blown up? Command, if you need a Gary spot. Uh, yeah. How do tanks die? Well, they could die. I mean, uh, gosh, there's always infantry. I mean, think about it. If I'm playing a satchel player, if I'm a satchel guy and I need to knock out a heavy, I'm going to hide in a bush. I'm going to hide in a hedge. I'm going to hide wherever I can and wait for the perfect moment to jump out and satchel the tank, right? I'm going to let all the infantry pass by me. And I'm going to make my move when I think it's time. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Don't ever get disappointed if uh, somebody like that sneaks by you. So skipping ahead here. 28 minutes left on the clock. Making some ground. But once again, just equal trades all over the board, right? It's a sign of a good game. Trust me, it's a sign of a really good game. But of course you want to win, right? You want to win. Uh, and so, yeah. Okay, Gary's back up at cemetery. Oh, I I'm not expecting you to. I'm just letting you know where it is. Okay, so we're moving I'm ahead here. Skipping ahead a little bit in the match. Hair garrison marker. Armor next 76 middle or bottom. 25 minutes left on the clock. I hear, I think I try a precision strike here. Checking my CE. No, didn't get it. Ah, <sighs> Just got the TC, I think. Zane, you're watching that south side, yeah? I yeah. just killed the officer, I think. Yeah, it's... Yeah, we know. Okay, so we have, once again, just stable line, nothing crazy going on. We're Still we're waiting for that play to happen. So go that way. I finally yeah, call bombing run in, north side of checkpoint. Right the yeah, there's some marks on that and it's always just so disheartening when you get one freaking kill with a bombing run. <laughs> oh my god. You think about all those bombs dropping all over the point, right? And you're thinking, hey, the enemy should be somewhere near there, but they aren't, right? They freaking aren't, uh, and it's just, yeah, it's just disappointing sometimes. You have you have a fantasy, right, of getting ten kills with a bombing run and just wiping them all out with this massive AOE effect, but um, damn, just doesn't come into play sometimes. Oh, and then here what I was, just walking along, and I find this an enemy Gary. Oh, my gosh. Oh, shit, there's a Gary right here. I'm getting the Gary down. <laughs> wow, look at that. A Gary. Oh, my God, I killed the fucking driver. And that was right by the OP, too. So, uh, most likely, they just spawned and ran south, and none of them ran north. What was he doing? He was about to build a Gary. Them. I'll just say keep gunning it while they're distracted in the north. Okay, so 21 minutes left on the clock. It's looking a little bit better, right? We have a squad lead in the back. Squad leads inching up forward. Tanks look like they're in a little bit better position. Two OPs down here to the right south have made a little bit of room. But once okay. again, the MGs from IR back here should be able to cover and give a ton of crossfire and uh, just really ground and pound them down. There's still people here. I thought I'd give it a shot. Found another one. OP down yep, they spawned and got me. Fill November, please. Fill November. 21 minutes left. 21 Gee, minutes two left. Spots in the gat. Let's fill in the gat OP, please. So moving on ahead, Nagato P's right there. 20 minutes left on the clock. We have the tanks moving up north in their positions. The houses, infantry right by them. That's where it always gets dicey because even though the infantry are right by them, 
goes back to my previous uh, statement I made around AT players, right? Is that they're going to hide anywhere. They're going to hide all around, right? And they're going to wait till that tank passes right by and jump out and try to get a satchel on as quickly as possible. And so it's just, uh, it's sort of like a false positive, if you will. False sense really of security. Like I, said the here, That's not good. I can't really do anything about it right now. Yeah, sniper just watching. Is there though? Okay, so we that? move on around yeah. two so more minutes one in, one and we see that the push has gotten squashed. Okay, we keep going, keep okay. going. The defense, may, keep, keep in mind, like I don't mean to sound uh, too sad about this. I mean, defense is doing a great job of shutting down all the different probes in the back line, right? So we don't have to worry about that. I mean, people sometimes forget, right? I mean, we'll... Uh, the game sucked. It was terrible. But there were some positive things, right? You guys think about it this way, is that the team was allowed to attack the entire freaking time, right? And defense shut every probe in the back line out. Just think of it that way. So that is a positive to take away in these situations always. So here we have a light tank going up to the top and doing sort of uh, shenanigans up there and seeing if they can make a play in the back line maybe. Marked with terror exact. If the tiger's pushing. Uh, flares up, two tanks and move north to checkpoint. 17 minutes left on the clock, 16 uh, minutes. Strong points clear. Okay, so it's 16 minutes. We have uh, one tank to the north. The line is still forming, still trades going back and forth, each side just punching each other right in the face, right? Just uh, no clear winner at the moment. You can help. Honestly, Team, I know you're struggling. If you you're able to get up to the road help this and tell out, us whether there's a cross. tank on the hedgerow at Mike Tank Mark, that's really important there, information. There is be a ready tank to redeploy. Here. Team, let's fill right, yeah. I'll, go, I'll go die okay. in the north. I'll see what. Plus, there's, that there's, there's a tiger set. I'm looking at it. Another tiger just pulled tiger up on the hedgerow behind it. Recon's going up. Recon's going up. Actually, I don't know if it's a tiger. It's, it's just a tank. I can view it. Okay, sending up recon straight to the middle of the point to potentially spot their tanks right here, right? Tank down here. And then, uh, oh, sorry. But see if they have a tank down here uh, to the south of uh, checkpoint right there. Recon is up, recon is the up. Drop is nice close to my Charlie Garris if you should be able to see Roger Gary from. Tiger's your light vehicle. It's a lot of. Two. Yeah. I'm gonna. I lost visual because of the smoke, but George Armour right, last. Going east. Stun flare. Fox markers most OP accurate. up, OP up down south road. OP down south road. Okay, so we have an OP up down south road, and that sounds, I mean, it sounds good, right? It just got to remember that that OP is on an island, right? It's on an island, and their tank could run up at any time and try to smoke it. How light vehicles accurate, Wicks? You should have eyes on them. 11 minutes, 11 minutes left on the clock. Grenades north of you, watch out. There's Once again, just blow crap. after blow on each side's exchanging. Tanks pushing up to the south. I think they thought they had the advantage and there were no tanks to worry about, but then IR had a backup tank that moved up, that was already pulled up to uh, support. We got killed. There's a Tiger drove up map edge south. Yeah, Tiger drove up map up south. Infidel, there's infantry all around you, east and west of the road. Okay, so we have nine minutes, nine minutes, and three minutes. Their peace tracks up. Enemy OP tear marker, enemy tiger squad. You can either use it, I see there's a gear you can replace your OP, or... We need, yeah, yeah it's right to Airhead egg and bombing run. Yeah, we, we gotta go. I think it's the only option we got. Seven and a half minutes left. Before it's dead. This is always the time during the match where... Both sides are, I mean, things are getting intense, right? And I think both sides are just, <laughs> look, the adrenaline goes up a little bit, right? And sometimes people make more shots than usual. Sometimes people probably make less shots than usual. And I think this is where the defensive team is like, okay, we need to, the, I mean, IR in this case is like, okay, where are they going to make this final push? Where are they going to do it, right? And uh, they're just trying to prepare for that. Never mind, we should be good that, GA. Essentially, we just prepare for that. Still spawning easy, uh, Gary on Maison.
Okay, so we have a 76 to the south. We have a recon vehicle rolling up. Gator, start working it back if that's your already on the road. Shogun, don't yeah, leave easy, you okay? Oh, not leaving. Point. Getting closer to the point, I mean. I, di I didn't know if your already was the one right in front of me or if that's theirs. Enemy Gary destroyed on checkpoint. Okay, so a squad lead calls out, hey, yes, enemy nice, Gary nice. destroyed on air on checkpoint. Yep. And so we have Terror Squad back there. So this is going to cause a little bit of... Uh, confusion in the IR chat because just as we do in our command chat we say hey uh, there is an enemy Gary uh, or there our Gary on point is heating up or lighting up right and then uh, on their end too they're probably calling out hey uh, somebody just took out our Gary on our freaking point what's going on right let's squeeze them now FLW. so we're down to six Gary. and a half minutes left enemy tiger North Press worth it with only three minutes left. So, uh, Terra calls out enemy Tiger, but he doesn't call out the positioning. <laughs> he puts the mark down, but it, it's you have to make sure to complete your sense always when you're calling out enemy tanks. Just enemy so armor. Tiger armored. what? <laughs> enemy Tiger Terra marker. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Enemy Tiger what? The procs. Yeah. Okay, so we're moving ahead here, moving ahead. Tiger on Fox is just five and a half minutes left, and so under five and a half minutes, I'm thinking, okay, uh, well, we're going to need something, a, a bonus action going on essentially here, right? And and so this is where I decide I'll just spawn a half track or the heavy. We won't have enough fuel for a heavy in time. Won't be able to generate that much, and so I just say, okay, I'm just going to spawn a half track and try to drive it up into a, a good spot and at least get one more spawn off. The problem is, is that in the final six minutes of the game, usually as commander, at least on my end, you're trying to drive the half track, but then you're also trying to know, uh, go in the map and understand what's going on as well and clicking buttons and stuff like that. So my driving isn't that freaking amazing There's right now. There's a tank 240 ish from where I am. They're on Mason. I just got a fucking shovel in the back of my building. Okay, so Squad Lee just called out. He got shoveled on point. We do have a recon tank causing shenanigans on checkpoints, so it's always good to see. So the longer the recon tank stays up, right, that means the infantry, they don't have AT nearby, or rockets, right? And they're uh, seeing OPs get wiped on point, Gary light up on point, and they're just causing chaos, which always is a good sign. On, boys. We just killed a whole spawn wave on the creek. Checkpoint Gary, checkpoint Gary's okay, they down. got a machine gun that's literally shooting With down the people. entire trench line. Yeah, so Wix calls out, hey, we got 10 people on checkpoint, right? So that's a nice morale boost for the team, right? It's like, okay, hey, hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> so once again, uh, those small or those actions, right, we hear that on our side, but then also the enemy chat is, imagine, filled with that as well, right? On the negative part of the side, like what is going on at checkpoint? We just lost a Gary. We just lost a spawn wave. What's there, Right. And so someone calls out a recon tank, and there could be infantry, who knows, right? But that's the that's the thing you have to think about when you're thinking about uh, all these different actions that go on. So all these little actions have a, a very reverberating effect. Nice, 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 Wix. They're going to have a garrison on tear Gary. And though the classic airhead play, and I'm also driving up a half track, and drill. this is where it's like, okay, where can I put this puppy yeah. behind this building, behind that building, behind this hedge, behind this hedge, right? So, okay, I'll put it in the corner of that building up there to the run, and I'll time the bombing run. All right, we got two outposts in the Gary with that. Greyhound. Are there any known tigers right now? Wasn't it just the one west? Four and a half there minutes left. That means the airhead's going to drop at around the 405 mark or something like that, right? Because there was a few seconds before this. And so I'll try to drop the bombing run a little bit beforehand. There was the one me, then there was the one on tear mark that was driving up. That was two tigers. So this is where it can get kind of exciting because <laughs> this is where it can get kind of exciting because the enemy is obviously trying to figure out what's going on. And we had the advantage because we're going all in essentially, right? The bombing run's coming in. I got a strafing run coming across. Or I'll, I thought I had a strafing run coming across. Yeah, okay, there it is. Any chance you can mark? This is where you're always hoping as commander, like you see that airhead fall, and maybe it'll be green. Maybe it'll be clear. Maybe, just maybe it'll be clear. Uh, <laughs> you hope so at least. Oh, 
Roger, enemy Gary was going to be where the airhead's going to go. Just watch out for bombing. Okay, so 3.42 left on the clock. The airhead has just landed. It's clear. Oh, my God. It, can it be, right? Squad leads are pushing in all along. We have a, a 76 rolling up as well. So IR on their side. They're trying to coordinate by, by remaining defensive, right? We do have infantry up here uh, getting pressure. And so this is what I mean. In the last, gosh, in the last minutes of the game, anything can happen, right? Anything can happen. And so uh, this is where it just always gets kind of exciting because uh, plays... Clutch plays can happen at that time. Airhead lights up. Oh, and the airhead goes down. Point flash to contest it for a second. Garrison destroyed on point. And so remember, once the garrison destroyed on point, they're going to have to do a few things. A few things happen, right? Obviously, the Gary's gone. There's no spawn point. But there's still OPs there. But Gary's gone. Squad leads can't spawn nearby. They lose their OP. And so they have to coordinate a new Gary spot. And so you had maybe 10 seconds, maybe 20 seconds, plus a 40-second spawn timer. So you're looking at about a minute delay, right? So that gets you, if the Gary was destroyed right now, so that gets you to about the 2 minute 30 mark uh, for the next possible spawn wave. But on point. Just a quick little math you do in your head. Think about the advantage. 2-2 two, two in circle. I grind queen mark. Okay, so we have infantry flooding towards a point. That looks so cool from a map perspective. We have the 76 to the south of the point. And if they can catch the enemy tiger off guard, then obviously we're we're in, uh, we're in business, right? And uh, the infantry are flooding towards, and this is where big plays can happen always, right? Run. So bombing run's coming, uh, finishing up over the point, I believe. I think this is their bombing run. And Smithers do it. Okay, <laughs> in my mind, I have three minutes right in the left on the map, and you gotta with the half track is a sixty second spawn timer. So I'm like, I gotta, I gotta ditch this puppy here uh, as soon as possible to be able to even have a relevant spawn timer, right? And so I have to always keep that in mind. But I get it stuck a little bit. No, I get it stuck a little bit. Guys in the north, go south. And that cost me maybe. Five. Five seconds right there, maybe six seconds, and so I decide I'll just dump it right here. So it'll get us to about the two-minute spawn timer. So we would have to be contested at that time. Look in the barn. The garrison's behind. We have bodies on point. The 76 is still here. Uh, OPs are all filled. Half track is right here. It's just in sector, so they're just at the head the, southwest. Uh, the the OPs are lighting up to the north, though. Bill Roger, yeah. Bill Option. 40 seconds to start. I'm heading up to the front line. I'm trying to get some my first taste of action. <laughs> I'm getting shot at. I know I'm not going to be able to kill this guy, so I tried to uh, just at least stay in the sector and count as some cap pressure, right? Uh, and then we have obviously the old bodies moving up here. 20 seconds left on the clock. OPs to the north. Everybody's trying to stream down. Yeah, keep them coming. I'm kicking everybody out. I hear the Gewehrs going off and everything really close by. Maybe I'll get a maybe I'll get a clutch kill. Maybe maybe 205 left on the clock. I get shot. Oh, <laughs> and the timer hits the two minutes. And so yeah, GG's everybody. Damn. Uh, it looked it looked good there towards the end, right? We had everything rolling in and stuff. It, it was looking really good. Potentially like a last minute cap chance, uh, but unfortunately. It did not pay off, <laughs> but it was close. It was a good game. Obviously, we saw uh, the defensive side shutting down all their probes and allowing the front line to just grind, 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 try to get back in position and everything. So, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was a rough one. It was a rough one, uh, but it's okay. I mean, it was a at least we lasted the uh, or we fought to the full ninety minutes. We actually still had a chance. So that's all you hope for. That you can leave uh, with your head held up high. Anyway. Good try. Good so, try. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, uh, thanks for joining the stream, everybody. Appreciate it. And, uh, I'll be doing another one of these maybe this evening right, or something like that. Uh, so, yeah. Hope you enjoy them. Uh, leave any comments below or anything if for other things you'd like to see or questions you have about the competitive scene. Uh, once again, I'm your host, Smithers. Be sure to uh, follow, like, subscribe, all the kind of good stuff. So, okay. All right. I will see you all next time.